Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. If ever there was a fight that cried out for you to take distance rather than a side, it's this fight between Lucas Matisse and Wishlin Pavatnikov, right? Understand the fight is scheduled for 12. Understand neither guy is that defensively gifted, right? What do I mean by that? I mean that Lucas Matisse was actually dropped by John Molina. I mean that Lucas Matisse was actually dropped by Danny Garcia. Don't look at the fact that the fight went the distance. Look at the fact that he was actually dropped in the fight. Right? Now, Ruslan Pavotnikov went the distance with Timothy Bradley and with Chris Algieri. Right? He went the distance with both. I believe that's what's throwing people off. They see that he went the distance in a couple of fights, and they're thinking, wow, what's going to happen in this fight? Right? My prediction is that this fight doesn't go the distance. That what you want to do is that dangerous play where you take both guys by KO. Keep in mind, folks, it's a 12-round fight. You want all 12 rounds. You don't want to fool around with an over-under. Right? Just keep in mind that the John Molina fight, involving Lucas Matisse went 11 rounds, right? As I said earlier in this video, Matisse actually went 12 rounds against Danny Garcia. You want the later rounds in this fight. Timothy Bradley almost got stopped by Richland Provotnikov in the last round of that fight, right? You want all 12 rounds. You don't want some over-under where you're only getting seven or eight rounds. Right? I'm betting distance here. I'm not taking a side. I do think Matisse throws the straighter punches. I do think Matisse is the more complete fighter. I do view Ruslan Provodnikov as what I call a mid-range hooker. Right? I do think Matisse is a guy who can back away from a fray a bit and be patient. I believe Provodnikov, by contrast, has to be on his front foot. But understand, Matisse is a hunter. Both of these guys are hunters. Neither of them has the survival skills of a Timothy Bradley or a Chris Algieri. Right? Neither of them knows how to move as well as either guy. The way boxing works is, you know, you, you go with what works for you. Right? Neither of these guys has really had to. Right? Move around the ring behind a jab like a Timothy Bradley has in fights or like a Chris Algieri has in fights. So to me, those fights are outliers. What I expect is more in line with Russian Provodnikov's fight against Mike Alvarado, where Provodnikov is on his front foot. He's trying to force the action even against a dangerous puncher in Lucas Matisse. Now, Matisse is going to be patient. Matisse is going to try to pick his spots. But understand, he's not dealing with an opponent like Demarcus Corley. He's not dealing with a guy who's on his back foot setting traps. He's dealing with a guy who's going to be on his front foot trying to take him apart. Both of these guys are firmly convinced in their punching power. Right? So my point is, Matisse had a problem against another mid-range hooker in Danny Garcia. Right? Understand, Danny Garcia, in my opinion, isn't as aggressive as Rushlin Provodnikov. Right? Mauricio Herrera went the distance with Rushlin Provodnikov. I would argue that Mauricio Herrera is more of a survivalist boxer than is Lucas Matisse. So I don't know who's going to win the fight. I'm just taking both guys by... KO. I'm expecting punches to be landed. I'll say this. Matisse's punches, in my opinion, get there a lot faster and travel a shorter distance than Richland Provotnikov's punches.
right? But boxing is rock, paper, scissors. You can be the more technically gifted fighter and still have problems with the other guy's angles, right? Understand how Provotnikov throws punches. Chris Algieri, who is decent defensively, I understand people are looking at the last Pacquiao fight, the number of knockdowns there, and they're saying, how could he possibly be decent defensively? Algieri's actually a pretty good defensive fighter. But Algieri got dropped twice early by Provodnikov because Provodnikov has a loop on his punches. That throws guys off. I would say Timothy Bradley's a pretty good defensive fighter. You saw what happened when Bradley tried to mix it up with Bruchlin Provodnikov, right? So I'm expecting Matisse to have a learning curve in this fight. I'm expecting a lot of fireworks early in this fight. I don't believe either guy is that much of a survivalist. I'm expecting someone to get stopped in this fight. I'm betting distance here, not a side. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.